Hey everybody, it's almost St. Patrick's Day and today we're making corned beef and cabbage. This is probably the easiest dinner that you could possibly make. It's a one pot deal and it's just incredibly simple and everybody can make this. So I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after this. All right, so let's get started cooking by going over our ingredients. So here's my corned beef. Now mine is uncured and it's organic and there's no nitrates in it. Now this one also, if you can see here, comes already seasoned. So all the spices are in the liquid, so you wanna make sure that you put all of that in your pan. We'll need some potatoes, and I'm using just gold potatoes here. And these are small, I'll probably just cut them in half. We'll have some cabbage. I have some cabbage right over here. You can see that right there. And some carrots, celery, and some onion that I've already chopped up. I am gonna add a little bit of spices to, to my um, corned beef just because I don't know how spicy it is. So I'm gonna add a little bit of allspice and a bay leaf. And then to finish this off, I like to have a little bit of mustard sauce. So I'm gonna use a little uh, Dijon mustard and some honey together. And then we'll also need some water to put on top of our corned beef when we're cooking it. So we're gonna start off by placing our onions and celery into our stock pot. I'm gonna leave the carrots out because they don't take that long to cook. So I put the yeah. bay leaf in there. I'm gonna sprinkle in a little bit of allspice. Now we'll take our corned beef and then just pour it right in. So at this point now, we're just gonna cover our uh, beef with some cold water. And you want it to be completely covered. So place the pot on high. I have it on high right now, and I'm gonna cover it until it comes to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, I'll lower the heat down to a simmer and then just continue to cook it. Our corned beef is cooking. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click the button right up there. I don't want you to miss a new video when they come out. And also, I love trivia. So in honor of St. Patrick's Day, I have a trivia question for you, or maybe two, depending on how it goes. So here's our trivia question. What are leprechauns really? Now you get multiple choice, all right? So the first choice is they are magicians. That's A. B, they are thieves. Or C, they are shoemakers. All right, you got your answer? Okay, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. I wanna hear what you have to say. And I'll have another question for you in just a bit. So I'm gonna work on the mustard sauce and I'm gonna take my Dijon and I'm gonna place about two tablespoons of it into my bowl. Next, I'm gonna add some plain Greek yogurt. And I'm gonna add about four tablespoons. And we're, we're, you know, estimating here a bit. I'm not being exactly precise. The last thing we're gonna add is some honey. Now I'm just gonna estimate here, and you can certainly play around with this to get it as sweet as you want. I'm gonna put in about a tablespoon's worth. And then you just wanna mix this up. So this sauce will be used as a dipping sauce. We can serve it up on our plate with our corned beef and cabbage. And it also makes a great little spread for sandwiches. So you can put this on your bread and then put your corned beef on there. And it really tastes delicious, guys. So what we're gonna do now is just cover this. I'm gonna set it in the refrigerator and just set it aside until we're ready to use it. Okay, so here's our second and last trivia question. Why do leprechauns wear green? Our multiple choice answers are A, because they like the color, B, they use it as camouflage, or C, because they think it's lucky. So go ahead and leave your answer down in the comments below. And to find the answers to our two trivia questions, check out the description below this video. It'll be right there for you, as well as the written recipe for today's video on corned beef and cabbage. All right, so while the corned beef is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and cut up the cabbage, and I'll show you how we do that. I'm gonna cut it in half. I did peel off the just the one layer of outer leaves. So just cut it in half, and then cut it in half again. And then you can just kind of stand it up on its side like this, and then cut out the core, because that's what you wanna remove. And then once you cut out the core, you can chop this up any way you want. You can cut it into you know, halves again and keep the pieces large, or you can do like I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna cut it into chunks this I'm way. I'm gonna go ahead and prep up the potatoes as well. And as you probably know, they will, they're gonna turn brown. So I'm gonna place mine in a little bowl of water that I have sitting right here. 
And also my potatoes are relatively small, so I'm just gonna cut them in half. Our corned beef has been cooking now for two hours, so we're down to our last half an hour. And it's time to add the carrots and the potatoes. Now, half an hour is plenty of time to cook this. I just, I personally don't like to overcook them so that they're mushy. So we'll go ahead and put the lid back on and simmer for another 30. All right, our corned beef needs to come off. It's been two and a half hours. So I'm gonna place it into this dish over here. And now we're gonna add the cabbage. Now we'll go ahead and submerge it. And like I said, this will only take about 15 minutes while the corned beef is in resting. And I'm just gonna lightly cover this with a piece of foil just to keep the heat in. And we'll be ready to serve it up in 15 minutes. All right guys, our corned beef is and cabbage is done. We wanna kind of orient it so that we are cutting against the grain. So you can see here that the, the grain of the meat is running in this direction, so we wanna cut it this way. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna take a few slices here. This looks really good, smells really good. right here on our plate. Look at that, it's gorgeous. And then we'll top it with some uh, cabbage and carrots and potatoes. So the cabbage turned out beautiful, not overcooked or mushy at all. All the vegetables turned out great. And at the end here we want to add our mustard sauce so we can use that for dipping our corned beef into. Oh it looks, it's so tender guys, it's perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Get all that sauce. Okay. Whoopsie. Mmm, guys, that is delicious. The meat is tender. That mustard sauce got a nice little kick to it. It's just delicious. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope this helps you out. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Make this, you will enjoy it. Share it with your friends. Leave me a comment if you guys like this video, and don't forget to answer your trivia questions down in the comments below. Thanks again, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that button up there, and you'll be notified of new videos when they come out. All right, that's it for today. Enjoy your day. We'll see you next time with a delicious recipe.